Hello and welcome to another episode of Microsoft Fabric. And in today's episode, we are going to discuss time travel in lake houses. Yes, uh, how can we do time travel in lake house? We have done that in the past for the warehouses where we have seen how can we do the time travel in warehouse. But for lake house that comes pretty naturally, we have Spark to help us out. And using the PySpark command and Spark SQL commands, we can look back into the history. So let's get on to the Microsoft Fabric and try out how can we look back into the history how can we do time travel in Microsoft Fabric Lake Houses let me jump onto the app.powerbi.com to go to Microsoft Fabric here I am on app.powerbi.com and here I'll click on workspaces and GA10 Fabric workspace is where I want it to go this is the common workspace we are using these days for our Microsoft Fabric learning let me click on that and I've already filtered lake houses from the filter type lake house and here I would like to open lake 02. Lake 02 is my lake house and I can click on the lake house explorer to open that. Once I open my lake house explorer you can see I have few tables and the table where I am doing all these experiments is sales delta. Before doing this episode, I've already done few experiments with this table. So this is the table where I already tested it out and we'll continue to do more updates on this table to look into the history. So let me click on this table, Tales Delta and right click on that and look at view files. As you can see, this table has multiple parts and the reason for that is because in the past I have updated it and because of that update, it has actually created a newer version. And this is the latest version, which is basically we can see and as of now what I have done is I have restored the previous version this version of the file so that I can still look into the original data these are the log files and the checkpoint details which are available here let me go ahead and run a SQL statement first of all on this to tell you what right now is my latest values of few columns so let me go to the SQL analytics endpoint from the right top and let me run one query on this table so I have right clicked and used the select 100 rows but I don't want that I actually want to do the sum of quantity as quantity and sum of quantity multiplied by price as gross and let me remove everything else let me run this as you can see I am getting this 49,913 as my quantity and I am getting 10,278,808 as my gross value and these are the same numbers if you remember we are getting for our regular sales table which we are using mostly for all these analysis in Microsoft Fabric or Power BI and that's the same file which is available as sales data used in video or sales data for Microsoft Fabric on my GitHub account so you can take it from there and load it into your lake houses and warehouses. Let's go back to the lake house explorer again from the right top. So now we know what is our latest quantity and value time has come that we go and do the time travel now to do the time travel we are not going to do it using the SQL endpoint here we need help from the spark or notebooks to do that I would like to open my notebook which I've already experimented which is also already opened on the left tab but just to let you know the steps I can click on open notebook and use existing notebook in your case you will be doing as new notebook and it will immediately open a new notebook where you can write down the code I can click on this time travel on in lake house and click on open to open this notebook as I've already opened it right now on my left pane I am going to click on cancel let me go to the notebook I opened my notebook and in this notebook as you can see initially I've experimented by selecting some data what I've done is once I opened the notebook it was showing the lake house name I clicked on that and after that I made sure that it is pointing to a lake house now this is the first command which I've written here and how I've done that is basically I added a code and dragged the table sales delta here and it has automatically written all this code now I can delete this cell I have shown you how I have written this what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this first cell and when I'm going to run this first cell it is also going to start this park session. I can also use run all but I don't want to use run all as of now because I want to explain you each and every cell content. So let me simply run this first one. So what the first statement is doing here is it's creating a data frame by running spark.sql which is selecting the thousand rows from the sales delta table which is in lake 02 and then finally we are running display.df. Remember that I already selected lake 02 so in this case sometime I may run the select statement without using lake 02 dot. So let me run this now. 
it is just to start the park engine and showcase you few record so started the session apache session started in 7 second 753 milliseconds it was pretty fast this time so this was the pi spark code which i have executed and as you can see i got some data here this is the sample data and why this is the pi spark because at this top i have selected language as pi spark i could have chosen here spark sql and spark r in the past i have shown you the complete session with spark sql also but here instead of changing the language on the top i can simply write down percentage percentage sql statement and post that i can simply write down the select statement also this is another way to change the language in a cell so here what i am doing is i am doing the same stuff using the equal statement or sql statement so let me run that same result because the spark has started this time we got the result faster now what i wanted to do is i wanted to do sum of quantity and sum of quantity multiply by price so that you are able to know what is my latest value of these things and let me run this now as you can see this is the same value which we have seen on the sql endpoint 49913 and 10 million 278k 808 is the number in my experiment i have run the update statement before the describe history because at that time there was no history but because i have already done this experiment once what i would like to do is i would like to show you the history before i run the update statement so let me add a code block so just hover over your mouse above any code block or pin any code block you will get this option and here let me run this statement and the statement which i want to run is describe history table name I could have given leg zero to two table name also. That is also fine. Percentage percentage SQL because this is a SQL statement or SQL statement. Now this table already have a history. We have seen the file was also there, and as you can see, I have a version zero, which was my original version. Number one was the update, and number two was the restore. So what I have done is, but I have update. I have run. I have restored it so that we get the same quantity back again, which was there initially. and those of you are watching my series for some time you know this is the number we are always getting now the next thing which i have done there with the version 1 so this is the same as what i have done in version 1 but i would like to do a modification here to differentiate between the update version and the current version what i am going to do is i am going to make this as 5 so now i am going to run update sales delta this is the update statement the table name set is what i wanted to change quantity is the column i want to change i want to update it with 5 i am using a where clause because i don't want a blind update i want a conditional update where quantity equals to 1 so wherever the quantity is equals to 1 i want to update that and i want to run a sql statement this is spark sql statement which i wanted to run and which will now update my tables quantity wherever it is 1 with the 5 and that will change by data so let me run this So the statement has completed and it has updated thirteen thousand four hundred and eleven rows and time has come that we look back into the history details. So let me run this SQL statement describe history sales delta as I explained you previously. This is going to show us the history. So we should get one additional version. Yes, we are getting one additional version three. So this was the version and look at the timestamp of this version. So previously what I have done is this was the version's time which I have noted down. I click on here and I can copy this time. I can click here and copy this time. I can click here and copy this time to know what are my quantities. So let's try to look back at the initial version. So initial version was available till seven seven thirteen thirty five fifty two means till fifty one it was the first version. Then at fourteen zero four thirty five I done a restore. So again I got the same version. And before I updated this right now fourteen forty seven twenty eight I still have the older version. So let me copy this time. So now what I am going to do here is basically I will take this timestamp and going to run the SQL query to get the data on a particular timestamp. I will run it multiple times with different different time stamp to show you different version of the data in the past. So here it is very simple in case of Spark SQL you just have to give time stamp as of and the time stamp at the end of your select query and you will be able to get the data on that particular time if the data exist at that particular time so i have the query with the initial time stamp the very first time stamp let me paste the time which i have copied before i use the first time so let me run the statement with the first time stamp and we will get the initial data and if you look at the number these are the same number which i have in my data initially Now we have to look at each and every version. So we would like to go ahead now. Plus now thirty six is the second when the version has changed. The first time I have done the update. Let me run this to get the data. 
and this is the time so let me explain you this statement now so select sum of quantity as quantity sum of quantity multiplied by price as gross from lake 0 to dot sales data time stamp as of and the time stamps how we have given time stamp we have given as yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd t time in hours minutes and second and at the end i have given z that's the timestamp one. So this is what I copied from the history only timestamp history and the same thing I've given. I'm just changing the time. So you have seen now by running this select statement, I have, by changing the time, we are able to look back into the history. And right now, this is the first version. This is not even the current version. Before we look at the current version, just look a version just before the current time. And for that, what I need to do is I need to copy this time where we have updated it. Paste the timestamp into the query and move it few seconds back. 47.28 is our time when we have updated it. So let's make this 28 as 00, 0 and let's run this statement. This was the restore one. So it should give us same as the initial one. Yes, it is giving it the same as the initial one. So now time has come that we look at the latest data and to look at the latest data, we don't have to give any timestamp. So we can simply go ahead and run this select statement. What is our latest data looking like? Yes, our data, latest data is biggest of all. Even because that this 90k because we have now used wherever the quantity is one it should be 5 and that is why we are getting 103,557 is the quantity and 21 million as gross. So now this is our latest version what we are getting or this is the latest timestamp data. Now I was talking about version quite a few times so if you look at this table it do talk about versions it do talk about the timestamp so everything can be seen with the help of version or with the help of a timestamp so what i can do here is i can tell you the select statement how to get a version so i have this select statement select sum of quantity quantity sum of quantity multiplied by price as gross from lake 0 to sales delta version as of so instead of timestamp as of you can use version as of so this is going to do the almost similar job and this time it will come based on the version so you need to know the version number. So this was the first version when we updated first time. What is our latest version? If you scroll up it should be 3. Yes it is the 3 so let's look at our latest data. That's our current version. So version 3 and this is same as the current data what we have in our table. What was our initial version? Version 0 and this is same as the initial data we have. Let's keep one more code block so I'm going to all here and plus on the code and let's keep the version 3 also with us so now we have this entire history traceable using the version or the timestamp commands or the code which we can use in to spark sql now you might ask uh, can i do it on the pi sparks using some function or i have to use the select statement you do have certain other ways or certain alternatives in doing it in the pi spark so one of the ways you can do it in pi spark if you don't want to use this sql so first of all how do i want to know i want to know the version so to know the version what i am doing is from delta dot tables import delta table delta underscore table delta dot table from name spark and this is the table name and then i am taking the delta dot table dot history so i'm getting this uh, the table details and from there i'm getting the history and into a data frame and then i'm printing that data frame so i'm getting the almost same result what we have seen there the so same timestamps, same everything we got the results what if you wanted to read so we can use df spark dot read dot option timestamp as of the timestamp this is 35 you remember the first version just before the first version dot table sales delta and it is only the delta table for which we can have this so that is why you might not see any option like read delta and when i run it this is the df which has been created and how do i know the results of this df for that i am going to use tf dot aggregation quantity sum column and just show me the zero of zero of that and we will get the initial quantity for the latest version, I don't need the timestamp. I can go ahead and simply query and check it out. But before I do that, let me show you how to do it using version also. So for the version, you have spark.read.option version of 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever you wanted to give, whatever is available. Table, sales delta. And at this time, I'm directly printing df.aggregate quantity sum in the angular bracket dot collect again 0, 0. So because I want to show the very first record of the first row. This is 90,000 and we know this version is 3. We know it is 100,000. Late a version before it 2. Where it was same as the original version 0. It is 49,000. 
Now for the latest version, we actually don't need to specify the version. We can simply read the table. So span.read.table and then we can simply print it. Now we got the latest versions data and for the latest version, we don't need to specify a version or a timestamp. We have done this entire exercise. We know how can we look back into the history? What happens if you want to restore a particular version? Now here, this is the command, the SQL command, which is going to restore the version zero. You can restore any of the version which you want. So the command is restore table lake zero to table name, which is test delta. So lake name dot table name to version as of the version number. This is I'm doing based on the version number. So version as of zero one two or three whatever i want to restore i want to restore the version zero so version zero has been restored and these are few stats which has been provided now let's go and look what is the data in the latest version of this table so we would like now like to look what is the data in this table and for this we would like to query this table without giving any version so let's look at the latest data of the table sales delta and the sales delta contain the quantity which is 49,913 same as the version 0 and this is also the latest version. Has it created any history for that or how the restore has happened? Let's look into the percentage percentage SQL describe history sales delta and you will see one additional version has been added the version 4 which is a restore version restore version of the 0 before that the update before that the version 0 before that the update and this was the original version. So this is how the history of this file, what we have seen. Now, before I wrap up this, let's go back to the Lakehouse Explorer and look at what all Delta files have been created during this process. So I'm going back here onto the next tab, right click on the sales Delta, view files, refresh, fresh and as you can see I have additional delta files which are there which has been created because of the updates and if I go to the delta log you can see the checkpoint file the JSON file etc which are taken care of our versions so in this manner you know how can we do prime travel in the lake house what are the functions which are going to help you out I will try to put these commands into a blog so that you will be able to run these as per your requirements so why don't you go ahead and try this out and, and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this particular video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.